Good morning, welcome to Two and Two on Tuesday, the seventh of October. This is Kim Watson speaking for Easy Trader. Okay, looking at the euro dollar first, and as you can see, yesterday we managed a uh, decent up day there, uh, almost engulfing the previous day's bar. Um, uh, we also had some divergence running at that at the lows there, which is. Uh, uh, see it, may see us push up even further. We've got the potential. I mean, it really depends on if it can break the highs here. Um, I mean, it's been a long time since it's hit that daily 21, let alone the 50. So um, there is the potential for it to get a bit of a bounce from here. Um, as there obviously no guarantees, but certainly a, the potential. Looking at the four hourly charts, we've run into the four hourly 50s uh, yesterday. A long time since we've uh, got there. Uh, we've tried it many a time, but got there. Um, and now we're finding a bit of support, in fact, where we are at the, at the moment. Uh, looking at the hourly time frame, and you see the support sitting on the daily pivot here. Now, um, there is a potential for further upside. However, um, a break of the lows. Um, I just put the trend line on there. A break of those lows it could see a continuation, a continuation of a, a, a third wave down. So there is the possibility of a continuation down there. In fact, we could see it coming right the way back down to the uh, four, uh, sorry, the Audi 50 there if it was to uh, get a get a shove on down here. However, a break of this uh, recent uh, high here uh, would would see us. Uh, potentially moving back up for yesterday's highs and maybe more. Okay, looking at the pound dollar, and we have got key news out this morning. Uh, we've got the production uh, figures coming out this morning, manufacturing production coming out at 9.30. Now, yesterday didn't have quite such a solid day as the euro, but it's all the same. Had a good day, a uh, good move up there. It's um, at the moment rallying once again. It could again push up there. Not so obvious in terms of a as uh, a support level here as such although uh, we probably draw a trend line across the lows here it's uh, and a, a break of that may 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 see me run towards the, the lows uh, oh, or the weaker side and start shorting uh, at the moment though it's uh, looking reasonably good for pushing up and maybe uh, um, pushing up towards it daily r1 and maybe beyond um, coming back to the uh, four hours here again we have still haven't reached its uh, four hourly 50 so this is there's plenty of uh, upside potential here in terms of uh, it hasn't as I say hit that level for quite some time so it may just want to push up there uh, and hit those figures and we've got of course still got the call of the monthly pivot above us okay that's it for me have a great day bye for now